Welcome back, this is Raj. If I seem irritated, it's because this is a goddamn take three, because stupid effing people will keep calling my house for a phone call, and I'm like, I don't want to listen to this, and I got the beats audio again going up just to show you right next to Sting Chameleon that I had to adjust the volume, so I'm going to throw a clip real quick. Now you see, back in my day, when I played Sting Chameleon on the... Nintendo 64 trying to run through the stage on my good old Xbox TV. Alright, there was. everything was dry. It was a forest. There was nothing special about the forest. The forest was a place where men became men. And now, oh, these damn kids are ruining everything. And. I. men couldn't have to have. men had to make the jump over here. They didn't have any. they didn't have any baby water to make the jump over here. And, uh, you know what we did every day? We dealt with rocks. Rocks on our heads. And you know what? We goddamn liked it. And that was to show you, um, all the differences, obviously, in the, uh, stage. Because most people don't know, Stink Moving Stage is also one of the other stages affected by the environment. Or, not the environment, the demise, more to say, the demise of another robot master affects the, the environment specifically here, so... This stage is also really fun because you can jump on trees and shit. So, um, we're just picking up health, and, uh, the, one, one of the main environment changes, as you saw up there, hold on. You saw, clearly, that there was something up there, so... There's, a uh, environment change adds water everywhere, and it's ac absolutely necessary in getting an item in here. It's not this one, I assume, I assume it's one. Um, I can have, uh, yeah, it's, it's an item, hint, hint. So, uh, we fight this little mini-boss here, and you're like, God, this mini-boss! His armor, it's just too tough. I can't even imagine what kind of upgrades we're going to get from this guy. So, as we keep going, I usually use a lot of powers here because I get kind of bored fighting with Mega Buster, so I just start throwing out some Cyclones. Throw out some Cyclones. He has an actually metric ass ton of health. There's really no other way to... Like, seriously, this is, this is going to take a long time. Like, I'll show you to where he first starts showing a sign of not being at full health anymore. Come on. Like, seriously, this is really, really gay. The f this is a really gay boss, gay mini boss, because he takes forever. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, show some sign of breaking down so I can cut. There we go. See, see that steam? That's one. He has to get like four. There we go. That takes forever. Sweet Jesus. So, now that we beat him, holy shit, it just erupted out of here. Let me see. Dr. Lightning can bring out this capsule contains a new type of body armor. Ah, oh, so you can get it. It's a lot of When we use it, as soon as you you don't do the damage, because it reduces it by 50%. And 50% damage reduction in this game is absolutely obscene, because in any game, if your damage is reduced by 50%, it's essentially like your health is doubled. And that's uh, amazing. And yeah, now we have the full armor, white ass armor. Looks kind of cool, so the camera doesn't want to scroll until I move away. And then go back. So now we're gonna just drop it. Ah! Nope. CC without launch octopus, as I showed earlier. I hope I did. I, I'm doing this before I do the little clip in advance. So woo! You need the dash upgrade too here. And it always seems like you're about to die here, because okay, come on. Why am I charging the shot? There we go. So um, it always seems like you're about to die when you jump back because you barely got time it right. So if I didn't do that little mini boss, the rocks wouldn't be rocks would be falling here. And oh, you'll probably see it in the clip too. So I don't even need to point it out. So not these not these rock guys. I'm just taking all the hits. You know what I can do that now with all my armor upgrade. Look how much damage they do to me, like none. So I'm playing really bad essentially right now. So let's just keep on dashing through here, through the snow and the fire and the flames. So yeah, this stage is uh, actually really empty. Um, outside of like the mini bosses and the, the beginning, more to say, and there's a free, like the easiest, most obvious ward up I've ever seen ever in a Mega Man game. So, this is what the other part of this is literally part three of the level, part two of that intermediate crappy part of the level. So, we can just keep on running here and see, like, health upgrades essentially give me double the health now with a 50% damage reduction. And I can't, I physically cannot get that health because I don't drop down fast enough. So, we gotta just, we just gotta keep on right armoring around. This is. This is where I'm going, and so punch. And oh, I don't. I already said I got. This is a take three after three times, and so that ruined a bit of this level for me. But you know, we're just gonna punch that dude in the face. So let's jump out and go to the boss. 
Like I said, this is a super short level for me, so I'm obviously going to do a dubs feature today, so... And the thing is, it's also another level where the stage, in fact, like with Bossy Beat, affects it, so I'm going to have to do tons of clipping here and there, so... We see something moving around camouflage so we see it's Sting Chameleon! Oh no! And so I always have as much health bars as the boss, but I also got half damage, so it's as if I had more, so... He likes to hang around and drop some spikes, and... It's really hard to hit him sometimes when he's camouflaged. But you have to catch him on the wake up. And he always likes to throw those three spikes, but again, this boss really isn't that hard. You just gotta dodge the spikes. I mean, that's really about it. So as I charge a shot, and we see he moves right down the. I don't know if you guys can see on the like the screen, because I don't know how it looks in YouTube land. Um, but uh, you can see clearly like a movable outline of him. And he'll goddamn do the stupid tongue flick. Like, this upgrade would be much more helpful for Armored Armadillo, but you know what, I ain't a... I ain't a bitch, so... Um, I don't know if those spikes are insta death, so I'm not gonna try to test it, so... Sting Chameleon, get your ass down here, sweet Jesus. This, this is gonna be a way more fun fight when I use his power in the boss rush, so... We're just gonna jump around, jump, jump, jump around, and... He's at half health, half health. He's still juking around. I can't wait. I really want to fight Spark Mandrill because I I've done him with Mega Luster before and it's fun because he's never hiding like this and being a little bitch every time. Oh my God, you're making this take forever, Sting Chameleon. Sweet Jesus, I am on a tight schedule and by that I mean I am not at all. It's like 12:20 right now and I am I do not have anything to do until like 8 o'clock. So we're just gonna keep on juking around and fire three tier charge shots. So uh, come on, load and then. He'll lick me like a lickitung or a licky licky. That was the dumbest evolution of lickitung. Like, out of all the added evolutions to the original Pokemon, licky licky has to be. A, it's dumber than Tangrowth, okay? Like, seriously, like, real talk, licky licky is horrible. I, like, I don't even mind the design that much. It's just the name itself is so dumb. Like, like what they did with the. Uh, Pillow Swine, that's not bad. I mean, that seems like a believable third one. And like, Tangrowth, Tangrowth just literally looks like an older brother to Tangela, and so I'm taking an ass ton of damage talking about Pokemon, so. Let's finish this boss off with a super up close. I gotta, I gotta get really close, I gotta get like. Woo! Are you kidding me? That was perfectly timed! So he's gonna be like, Licky? No, woo! Suck my Are you kidding me? Late reaction slightly. Suck my, suck my D, suck my D, D, D sucker. You're chameleon D sucker. So suck my dick. And so I beat him with one ball after double health because I'm dicking around. And that's really, really bad. Oh my god. So that boss took like three minutes because I was being dumb. And I can check my phone for the timer, even though I don't need the timer, because I have one right here saying 8 minutes and 21 seconds of recording right now, even though I don't even have the clip at it in, so it's actually going to be a little bit longer than that, so I got the chameleon sting. This power is actually really fun, because, uh, not because, uh, the power itself, the power itself is actually lame as all balls. However, the power is really fun when you charge it up. So now we're going to face Spark Mandrill! And so I'm gonna, all, like I already said, just I'm gonna cut in the clip. Now, back in my other day when we were playing Mega Man Legend 64 XZX for the Nintendo 3D 4S, where you, we played on Spark Mandrels that had e actual electricity instead of generic jank as non electricity. And you know. We had to find there's no aircrafts coming around to crash our whole, you know, hell, crash our whole goddamn stupid fucking, Jesus, I'm gonna die because I'm not used to not having just a whole lot of health, so you see here, that, you know, it's really hard to see. And that clip shows you what Spark Mandrel does, and he even looks slightly discolored, I don't know if that's... I'd have to check if that's actually how it looks like before. So you see, it was all beaten up now, and everything's all dilapidated, because apparently this airplane crashed into the fucking power plant or something, like Jesus. So we're just gonna jump around, and you see right here, we can go up or down. And you see, the lights also don't go out here when you uh, beat, uh, until you beat Storm Eagle. And so now we're, we're just gonna run over here and just 
blaster blasty with blasters at him. And gonna go up here and blast some more blasty blasters at him. And actually what we're supposed to do is you see drop down here, you see like oh man, it's a sub tank, how do we get it? How do we get it? How do we get it? We gotta use one of these. So come on, work, there we go. So I picked up the, that should be the last sub tank considering this is the last level, so. Let's just run over here and see, this boss's weapon is actually the most, to me, the most useful non-charged weapon in the game. So, I I can't wait to get it, because it's also useful as our balls and Sigma, as Sans the uh, super special secret weapon, which if any of you have ever played Mega Man X, you already know about. So, we're just going to jump around. See, this place, the lights, the lights will already be out here. This is no different, but let's just, uh keep on running around and when those things pop up there's lights and then we got these ostrich we got these uh, uh automated ostrich uh whatever i'm trying to think of the other Mega Man boss that's an ostrich because in Mega Man x2 or 3 you got the ostrich that runs around really fast and it's with the same gator wheel boss thing i can't remember i'll probably play another Mega Man x thing oh it's a mini boss so this mini boss is fun to fight, but let's see if we can throw out a power that will make it really fun to fight. And we're just gonna we got we got a lack of range here, so this boss mini boss here gets raped by like certain powers, so he's just chilling on the floor and I'm just chilling breaking his bones and these mini bosses have a lot of health, so I'm just gonna start I gotta get I gotta get fancy with this. There we go, that's the super easy way to instantly beat him. Like, it instantly broke through like everything, so... Tapping the keyboard to switch the weapons, and now we're gonna jump over left and right, because that like, seems really badass. And so, let's just go over here, and I don't believe the lights would be out here if... we didn't beat Storm Eagle in advance. I don't know why I said we, you guys aren't doing anything, albeit this is a let's play, as in more than one of us, but... let us play, hence the abbreviation, but we see these little wheels over here, mirrors on wheels, running around, dark City, so, um, let's just turtle man's ignore him, and you see, like, the heart appear. Yeah, this this place wouldn't be out, but you see, we already got this, and usually that's a hard jump to get because you have the time on. So, we got all the health upgrades, we got all the armor upgrades, we got all the sub tank upgrades. So, actually, we don't have all the health upgrades, there's one more, and I'll pick that up at the beginning of the next video, and then the secret to the next video, and then I'll get, I'll get the secret part to the next video, and then I'll get. I'll just get everything else next video and start Wily next video and then after that I'll finish Wily and probably an extra video. So this 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 we have about two videos left. So I'm just gonna try to speed through here as fast as I can, like supersonic hedgehog speed. And I wanna get through here. I want to break free. So um I'm holding up a charge shot because I'm ready to whip some spark mandrel arse. And got a little lag here and there. <laughs> this is like twelve minutes of recording, this is ridiculous. So like ridiculously short, I mean. So you see, coming down from the heavens, it's Spark Mandrill! So he's gonna be like all big and buff. And the thing I like about Spark Mandrill is that he all he's always he's always open. He's never like hiding like armored armadillo. And he he'll climb across that he'll climb across he'll climb a crush he'll get a bush. So we're just gonna keep on he'll punch me, but I'm gonna be like no fuck my D. And so. He'll just jump over here and I'll be like, no dude, eat some Mega Busters for breakfast. It's the best. It's like recent Mega Buster cereal. So, Mega Buster cereal. Th charge three tiers for excellence in vitamin D. Like, Tony the Mega Man X the Tiger. And so, Spuck Man was going to be like, no. I'm going to be like, big old D. And so I'm going to throw my D at him. And he's actually doing a metric ass ton of D damage to me. So, he's going to ch Oh my god, I died. Crap. I was gonna throw some. I was gonna talk shit, but now I can't. Okay, now I'm back. Some can somebody tell me what the hell a mandrel is? Is it a type of ape? So oh, ooh, ooh, ooh! We gotta charge three, three, two shot. Jump up on the ceiling. Jump up on the ceiling. Come on. Jump. Do it. Do it. Do it. And call me Howard Chuck. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I want a badass finish. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bam. No, that's not a badass finish. Come on. Get up. Get one more time. And yeah, that. The little wall breaker thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up, get up. Come here, homie. Just big old D. And that's how you kill Spark Mandrel. And, uh, yeah. That's the end of the last Robot Master. Um, I'm feeling kind of... I feel... 
I have to say right now, I'm feeling pretty cool. I beat all the Robot Masters in Mega Man X, and this totally isn't like the fifth time I've played through this game, so... And we got the little music going on. And so we got the Electric Spark. That's a very original name, by the way. So we're gonna be like... The little Thunderbolt, but it's kind of like a really easy... Um, upgrade shot to the Mega Buster, so it's kind of kind of useful. So, we got the password, we got all the bosses beat, and so now we're going to see cutscene. So we got Zero coming down, he's like, FINALLY, WE FOUND SIGMA'S FORTRESS! <coughs> My throat, <coughs> so sore. Let's go in and put against his, his war against the humans. It sounds like what? Against the humans. And then the Mega Man X is, didn't say anything, I was going to do the Mega Man X list. So we see Sigma right here, and no. So we see Sigma right here, no, we see Sigma right here, no, we see Sigma right here, and I will see all of y'all next time.